Yo, yo, what up? It's the one and only Hip Hop Gamer, Hot 97, BET, GameStop. It's crazy right now. I want to give a big shout out to my dude, my peoples over at Sports Gamer Online, the number one source for your sports gaming news. Keep it gangster. <laughs> What's good, people? Dirty Draws here, and today I got another one formation scheme for you, this time out of the Chicago Bears playbook. And we're going to mess around with the single back ace formation. The plays I'm going to go over are PA stretch shot, quick slants, HB dive, 0 1 trap, and HB zone weak. Going through, I noticed this playbook has a lot of shot plays. You know, the deep ball plays, so I figured I'd base the scheme around the one in the best formation, which led me to single back ace. Main reason I love the scheme out of ace is because you can flip the play you picked without your opponent knowing. Personnel-wise, just make sure your fastest receiver is on the left. And the first play I'm going to go over is PA stretch shot. The hot routes are to send A on the streak and Y on the slant route. The idea is to have A and B run deep to keep the corner and safeties away from the action, while we overload the right side of the field with RB, Y, and B. With the B receiver being the big play guys, he runs through the gap in the defense, hopefully created by the streak sending defenders deep, and Y and RB keeping the underneath defenders short. Okay, so the first three will be RB on a play action flat route. Versus man in his zone, you just check to see if he's defended going to the flats. The next read is Y on the slant route. Versus zone, throw it in between the flat defender covering the running back and the nearest yellow zone. And versus man, leap pass to the sidelines if Y has inside position. If covered, you move on to X on the crossing route. Versus man covers lead inside once he makes his cut. And versus zone, you want to wait until he's directly in the middle of the field to determine if he will come open or not, because that will then tell you if he's about to run into a cover for safety or the middle linebacker is deep enough to pick it. If clear, you can lob or bullet. But if he's covered, you move on to the last read, B on the street, who will have one-on-one -on -one coverage deep. The next play I'm going to go over is slants, a.k.a. one of the most annoying plays in Madden history. I run this with PA stretch shot to get them into more zone looks because they know I have slants in my arsenal which obviously kills man. And because the defense needs five underneath defenders to defend slants properly, it helps PA stretch shot by reducing the number of defenders rushing. The first read in slants is Y on the flat route. You check to see if he's defending going to the flats, if not take the quick dump off. The next read is the first slant X, and versus zone you need to look to this area rather than either the receiver or defender to see if you can fit the ball in. Doing it this way lets you go through your reads faster and you also don't miss the second slant this way and versus man bullet inside once he cuts. And the same for the second slant, look here versus zone, and versus man bullet inside. And the last read is A on the other flat route, take the free yards if he's left open. And the run plays are HB dive, 0-1 trap, and HB zone weak. You want to run HB dive when the guards have no D lineman in front or to the right, allowing them to get to the second level of the D. It gives the back a two-way go up the middle behind either of them and run over and trap when the guards are blocked. The old lineman ends up trapping one of the linemen in the backfield while the guard who was supposed to block him goes to the second level anyways, creating a lane in the middle. And last HB zone week is most effective when the defense brings the safety down because they only have one deep safety to protect against big runs. And zone week's purpose is to attack the opposite side of the safety you came down is on. Alright guys, hope you like this scheme and stay tuned for more videos soon. Thank you all for watching and be good, y'all. Hey guys, this is Carnover5. Today, I'm um, going to do a pack opening for Sports Gamers Online. We do a trade number pack, so let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, first pack, we got Carlos Gomez. Alright, um, so Gomez was going to go to the Mets, but ended up going to the Astros. Um, let's see. James Shields. Alright, a guy that didn't move at all for the Padres. Uh, keep in mind, I don't really know what's going to be in this pack shit. I haven't really uh, opened it.